A family gets the shock of their lives when they move into their new apartment. They said that it was a great place to live. The Curry family thought this would be a safe refuge from crime-ridden Atlanta. But death had already made an unexpected visit. The Currys found a trail of red stains on the carpet. They said the landlord told them it was just fruit juice. But those stains tell a scary story. I squirted the peroxide on the spot, and it started foaming. That was blood. The Curry's new home was at one time a crime scene. There was a murder in our apartment. But whose blood was it? There was all kind of trails of blood from the front door all the way through the dining room, all the way through the hallway where it stopped in our closet. And it was in the closet where years earlier, the bloody body was dumped. The body of 18-year-old Honey Malone. How's it been for you without her? It's hard. Because I think about her all the time. Who killed Honey Malone? It's an enduring mystery that still haunts the Atlanta suburb of Stone Mountain. Downtown's Main Street seems idyllic, but they are the mean streets. Stone Mountain is said to be one of the most dangerous cities in Georgia. Was she an innocent victim who accidentally walked in on a home invasion in progress? Or was Honey silenced because she knew too much about a drug deal? I think she walked in on a, a drug deal that went bad. She was born Vanessa Malone, but everyone called her Honey. How did she end up with the nickname Honey? She actually told me Vanessa Marie was plain for her. I should have gave her a more exotic name. So she wanted to be called Honey. Her mom, Flora, says Honey had a heart of gold. She was actually the sweetest little girl you've ever met. I mean, she, she was the type that went and kissed everybody, good night, and never had a bedtime. And she had some striking eyes. Green eyes. And her eyes told everything about her. They would actually twinkle. Those twinkling green eyes were the envy of her big sister, Cassandra. She had beautiful eyes. She had green eyes. I was jealous. What do you miss most about your sister? I miss her little high energy self. Just her voice, how she is. I wish she was here so she can see my son. Honey made friends easily, perhaps too easily. Tell me about the group that your sister was hanging out with. From what I hear, they were cool, but they also did extra activities at their house. Those extra activities, alleged drug dealing, according to DeKalb County police officer Courtney Brown, one of the first detectives on the scene. For my investigation, the apartment was very busy. Uh, people went in and out of the apartment. Uh, the traffic was, was of high volumes, so it could have been many, many more. And when you say there was a lot of traffic in and out of the apartment, is that because they were selling drugs out of there? Yes, ma'am. Some of Honey's friends have criminal records with names like Spoon, Mercy, and Yak. That's Honey in the pink shirt filming a rap video with Spoon and his buddies. She obviously got caught up in hanging out with the wrong crew. It was a dope house. Is that all they sold in there? We believe they sold marijuana and cocaine. One night, Honey came home from her job at a dress store. She told her mom she was going out. So you knew where Honey was going and what she was going to do? Well, she didn't really say where she was going. Then she came back in like two minutes or three minutes. And I'm like, oh, OK. She said, no, I just wanted you to know that I love you. and. I'll be right back. But Honey never came right back. Those were the last words she would ever say to her mother. She had to walk all the way around our place to come and tell me how much she loved me. And it's like, where is this coming from? I mean, not that she didn't say I love you all the time, but it was just weird. It's something was just strange. Moments later, cops believe Honey stumbled upon an armed robbery. I believe it was a home invasion robbery with the main purpose to steal the drugs and the money out of that apartment. 
Invasion may be an understatement. Honey's friends who were in the apartment told cops between three and six men with guns kicked down the door. They claim they were beaten and tied up with a belt and the cord of an electric razor and herded into the shower. And then gunshots pierced the night. Honey was shot once in the back, a second shot to the chest, the bullet plunging straight through her heart. While the uh, robbers were ransacking the apartment, I believe Honey walked in. And when she turned to leave, that's when she was shot. When she turned to leave? Yes. So you think she was trying to get out of there when she was shot? Yes. When you associate yourself with friends like that, you know, you can be brought down. The gunman dragged Honey's body across the carpet, leaving that trail of blood. She was taken into the master bedroom and dumped face down on some dirty clothes in the closet. But why shoot Honey? Collateral damage. She saw, she saw more than what she needed to see. They were there to do a, a drug transaction, either buy some drugs or to sell a large quantity of drugs. Uh, while in the midst of doing that drug transaction, uh, Honey walked in and she saw too much. These are the actual crime scene photos, most too graphic for us to show you on national television. Those are the shell casings from the bullets that killed Honey. There are shoe prints on the front door and in the gravel, and outside, blood drops. But it was not Honey's blood. We talked to a neighbor that saw the suspects leave the apartment. There was a confrontation in the parking lot, and he believes that one of the suspects was shot in the leg because his buddy was helping him into the car. We followed up with all the hospitals in the Atlanta metro area and surrounding counties. Nobody came in that night or the next day with a, a gunshot wound to the leg. So the suspect either traveled out of state or he just had it fixed by a neighborhood doctor. Honey had a tattoo on her left hand that said blessed. But on the night the lights went out in Georgia, she wasn't. Next, the cold case heats up. So this could be a break in the case. It could be a big break. 